<laughs> it's not my intro at all. Good morning, Confetti Club. It is Pixie. Today, we are going to Kinokunya, the really cool Japanese e bookstore. We are going to Mood Fabrics, the fabric store from Project Runway in big quotations. My OOTD, can I do it laying down, is this thing. <laughs> I'll do an actual one later. Anyway, I'm excited. This is a vlog. Let's go. Our first stop was Kinokunya, which is a Japanese bookstore in New York City. I had been there, I think, once or twice before when we had previously been in New York, but it never fails to absolutely dazzle me. It is such a dream. It is two floors, and the bottom floor uh, has quite a bit of like merchandise. There's lots of kumas. Uh, they have stationery, some traditional type Japanese stationery, as well as like the cutesy Sanrio type stuff. They had a lot of things from this cat sort of design, and it seemed like it was all by the same artist. I did end up getting a little cat tote bag. This, we always hit it off together one, was my absolute favorite, but it was so small and it was 20 dollars so I ended up going for a middle ground type one I hope they do still always hit it off together they also had a large selection of J fashion magazines they had a whole table of gothic and Lolita Bibles rest in peace as well as some pop teens and other very popular Japanese magazines I also got this pop teen and a fruits this is my first ever physical fruits I've owned and I love it so much once again Rest in peace. What are you doing here, Tim? Tim! There's no actual Tims. It's like sad as hell. I don't know if they're building a Tims or if they made the Tims and New York just wasn't ready. Build Caminis, god damn! We then headed off to the garment district. We mostly wanted to check out mood fabrics, but this whole street, at least this is the street we were on, was just fabric store after fabric store, and then stores with embellishments and appliques and rhinestones and trims and oh my god. I wish I had a whole other suitcase just for fabric and sewing supplies because there was so much cool stuff. And of course, we made it to Mood. Mood was everything I ever could have dreamed of and more. It was amazing. It is three whole floors of just fabric heaven. The vibe in there was amazing. They had the tunes going, employees were dancing. Um, there were a lot of employees on and it was just absolutely wonderful. It's busy in here and I feel awkward, but I'm in a secluded corner vlogging. Everyone was really cool and artsy and there were a lot of people actually. This was probably the place where I saw the most eccentric fashion, sort of J fashion inspired. There was actually a Lolita and Baby the Starshine Bright who worked there which was super cool and I just had so much fun. I didn't really need anything, I kinda just wanted to go to experience the mood IRL but I did end up getting some iridescent organza in two colors which I will show you in the hashtag haul and I also got a mood shirt and a mood tote because I am project runway trash um, but it was wonderful I really hope I can go back sometime when I have more need for fabric it was just wonderful again the vibe was great and the selection is amazing you can order from mood online but with fabric shopping, I find it is so beneficial to go and feel the fabrics and see how they drape and feel how thick they are yourself. When you're ordering online, you know, you might not end up with exactly what you need for a certain project. I did not get to meet Swatch, very sadly. Swatch is the dog who works slash lives at Mood. Uh, and I actually asked one of the employees who is very friendly and chatty, and she said that he comes in when the owner is in, 9 to 5 on weekdays so I mean props to Swatch for grinding on that nine to five what's your mood mom dead <laughs> my mood is pleased that was so I'm fun shop, my mom's snoozy so we're gonna go and have a snooze I need like a bevy I need like a strong I said strong iced tea I just mean like a good one which is any nest team. <laughs> um, that was amazing. I'm very happy. I will vlog later when I'm not surrounded by a bunch of people. Hee <laughs> hee. 
my beautiful mm -hmm. za. It's a pineapple za, baby's first New York za of the trip. My mom has a za. Mm -hmm. Living her za life. I oh, feel. My za. Oh, really she made the za. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sure, you don't want to snack a meatball. Bah, 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 bah. That's okay. I have enough basil to fill me until I die. I think basil's supposed to. There's a lot of basil. Keep you young forever. Oh, God.